Hi everybody, Russ from My Hammers Eleven. Hope you are all safe and well. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell icon so you made of any time we put new content on. As always, I'd like to thank our lovely channel sponsors, Untuck It. Check them out in the description below. Today's guest, um, he, his Twitter handle, Sir Martin's Challenge. You'll see he comments quite a lot. Uh, and I know he's been <laughs> agonising over his decisions of his eleven. So we'll come to that a bit later on. Tough. It's Lewis Owens. How are we doing, Lewis? Very well, Russ. Thanks for having me on. Fantastic. It's not easy doing the 11 now. I've had to scribble out quite a few. So um, I hope I've got a good 11 sorted. Yeah, well, I mean, it's something you're doing it. It's like it, 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 keep, it, it you know, keeps the, the walls from the door or whatever it is. Um, you, know, there's, you know, there's not much to do at the moment. And so uh, <laughs> at least it can give you a bit of brain matter, something different rather than uh, watching what Boris Absolutely. is going to say. Like that, and, so. you know, it's, it's, it's so good because it makes you remember all those good times, you know. It makes you remember yeah. the bad times as well. But it does make you think, actually, you've seen some cracking players over the last, um, well, for me, 40 years, I suppose. Yeah. I was trying to work out when my first game was. Uh, and I think it was when I was when I was seven. So it's, yeah, it's 40 odd years. 21 and you remember, what? you go through. <laughs> 21 years and you ago. Think, yeah. And yeah. you think, oh, forgot him, forgot him, forgot him. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's not easy. But no. listen, I'll do my best. But it's great do to be on. Best. Uh, yeah, very good. And how have you been during this sort of weird world we live in at the moment? Well, it has been pretty strange, hasn't it? Hopefully, you know, we're coming out of it now. And um, I think football's kept us all going, particularly the way we're playing at the moment, which is yeah. good. Um, so, yeah, I've been, been OK. And uh, I've been listening to some of your your shows, Russ. So that's been keeping me going as good. well. So all good. Good, good, good. All good. Yeah, it is. It's one of those things, isn't it, where you... Uh, I think we've been very fortunate this season of, of how well we've been playing because I think it's just helped. It's like one thing you don't have to worry about. Do you know what I mean? It's always, yeah. you know, you've always, like previous seasons, you're worrying about West Ham and it comes like to Friday or Saturday and then Sunday, yeah. you yeah. about how the result's gone. That's one part of my life I haven't had to worry about too much this season, which has been bizarre. It is a bizarre thing. I know. Um, I know. It's, it's been great. And I just hope that we can keep it going because yeah. if we, you know, if we do fall off, I don't think we will, but if for any reason we do fall off, you know, it could be a bit of an anticlimax when, and when you think about it, you know, um, what a, what a situation to be in that if, if we do just fall off, but do you know what? I'm feeling confident. Mm. Um, you know, I think we can do it. We need three points against Leeds, obviously. Yep. That's going to be a big one. Uh, and if we can, if we can do that, and results go our way, because I know a lot, a lot of the other teams are playing. They've got a couple of games before we play Leeds, haven't yep. they? So, yep. um, but yeah, it's been good. It, it's been That's great been to good. watch, and the you know the the atmosphere's back. The you know the buzz is back. The mojo's yeah. back, and it, it's it's been good. It's been it really is, good. yeah, it's that buzz. It's really nice on Twitter and stuff like that. It's just there's lots mm. of activity and and things like that. And I mean, you know, even like you know, if we if if we finish like if, if we finish like ninth, for example, right? Yeah. Yeah. Beginning of the season, we'd have bitten your hand off to finish <laughs> well, ninth, seventh, sixteenth. You know exactly. Yeah, after Newcastle, I was thinking, let's just stay up. You know, yeah, let's just stay up. But um, yeah, I think I think we'll make Europe because I think if I, think so. I don't know how it works, if Man City win FA Cup or Champions League, it, it could potentially go down to seventh, couldn't it? I yeah, think. and we've and we've got the there's the Europa Conference now this next season. Oh, um right. so you've got the champions league the europa league and the europa conference so okay we've we've got i think we'll, we'll get into one of them we'll get into one of them that's what i mean it'll be one of them obviously you know and, and i think with the conference i think that 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 will be more fun in my opinion because you're going to be i think we've i think england have only got one spot and the idea yeah. is like the the you know the Liechtensteins and and these sort of other teams have more more spots, so okay. they can still play in Europe. So you know we could be drawn against, you know, a, a team of farmers in Liechtenstein or something. Brilliant. You know, you know that, that's, that gives it a yeah, bit they, more. They, they'll keep it keep it interesting. Yeah. I mean, so it's a little bit like the Intertoto, probably. It is, yeah. It's like yeah, I think it's basically a rebranded Intertoto to be honest. Is and it? obviously, if you win that then the next year you go straight into the Europa League. So in the same way that you win the Europa League, go into the Champions League and that type of thing. So, yeah, I mean, we'll see what happens. I mean, whatever happens, touch wood, as long as everything happens, goes all right, when we get to that qualifying stage, um, we should have at London Stadium 60,000 people. It'd be brilliant, um, wouldn't it? Absolutely brilliant. And, um, yeah, that's the, that's the one downside, obviously, of the season is, is yeah. not having the fans in. And um, it would have been buzzing, wasn't it? I mean, Tottenham would have been buzzing. And, yeah. Um, 
you know, you, you do feel for the lads. You know, Sufal hasn't played yet in front of no, in front of the no. fans, and you know we love him, don't we? He's, he's, I say, if you'd have got me in in a year's time, he may well be in my my Hammers eleven the way he's playing. He's, he's been yeah, fantastic. Exactly, but it's so true. You know, to get the to get the fans back will be great, and um, you know, uh, yeah, as you say, let's get into Europe, get the you know get everyone yeah. back and it was it's good time for us good time yeah dust the passport off um yep. and we'll see and we're off to Liechtenstein. No, and i mean i don't know why i don't know what Liechtenstein's in my head but it is um i think they haven't got well, a I, went, I went to i went to finland um for the intertoto we played yokerit yeah um i can't remember when that, when that was now um it, i went with my brother who's, who's yeah. also a big big hammer and um and I can, I think we won one nil. I think Lampard scored. And I can yeah. remember standing next to David Essex. Um, so that was a that was a great weekend. Uh, so if we get more trips like that, yeah, you know, the, the sort of the small clubs. Yeah, um, that's what I mean. Off. That's what I mean. Not like I mean, we've all been to, you've all you know, we've all seen been to like you know, Italy and Spain and yeah. you know Barcelona. I I, I think I want to go on a you know two flights and a two flights and a coach yeah. to get somewhere. Yeah, that's all we want. Nowhere. Romania. Yeah, and, we do, and then we just take over, you know, a town, mm. and yep. that's that'd be brilliant. It's one of those stories that everyone will be talking uh, about, like when we took uh, over like Mets and things like that. It's yeah, um, exactly. that's exactly what we want. But I mean, even yeah. even if we don't get into Europe, when we when that, that bet wake up, when we get play that bet wake up in August, whoever yep. we do, there'll be whoever we be get, six, whoever we get, we'll play. Yeah, we always get through to the final of the bet wake up. No one ever we really. Do. Well, that. Yeah, I tell you, it's one of it's one of our strong points, isn't it? It is. We'll always it always is. there. Yeah, we but don't no, we're, we're, we're going to do Europe, Russ. I'm, I'm confident yeah. we'll do Europe. No, I am as well. I am as well. I had a, I had a text message from a form. It was it's a it's a lot of ex hammers. Um, we we're recording this on the on the Tuesday. It's a lot of ex hammers' birthday today. So I text really? one of them today, and uh, they responded. A former uh, manager of ours responded saying, "Top six is a defo." So therefore, he said it. If he said it, it must be right. If I, if Harry said it, then he's top six, and that's what we've got. So there we go. But uh, no, it's what it Harry. is. But it's all good. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. Um. So you said you you know forty years ago ish mm. you started supporting them. Uh. Yeah. Why? Why? Well, it's it's in the blood. It's it's um it's down to dad really. I mean, dad was um uh well, dad was born in in Elton. Uh, so I think technically we probably should be Charlton fans. My, my granddad, bless him, was was a big, big Charlton fan. But dad was born in in Eltham, um, and, and mum close by in, in Kidbrook. Um, dad uh, went to Elton Green Comprehensive, which is where Billy Bonds went. I think dad was a couple of years older than Bill. Um, and then dad trained with West Ham as part of the youth development when he was about 14, 15. Um, I think I mentioned to you he was actually training at Upton Park the night of the the Munich air crash, and yeah. uh, um, I think Noel Campwell, who was taking the training, ca came in and told the senior players, and I think Dad and his 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 lot sort of overheard a few of the whispers mm. saying that there was this this um, this tragedy. So, um, and ever since then, Russ, it's it's been it's been in the blood, both me and I've got a brother who's four years older, and he's he's. Uh, He's a big time hammer as well. So yeah, it's once it's in the blood, there's nothing you can do about it, is it's there? It's true, it's true. It is, you know, I mean it's it's our it's our COVID, isn't it? Really? It's like yeah, there's no there's no is. vaccine for this one. Um uh, ab absolutely, absolutely. And and yeah, I mean it's taken me uh, it's taken me everywhere really and, and um you know, not just with my brother, but with two mates, Paul and Neil Harrison. I sort of give a shout out to them as well. So we've been yeah, you know, all over the place. Uh it's it's uh yeah, it's a big part of our lives. Fantastic it's, stuff. It's one of those things. It's a bit like osmosis. It just sort of gets into your skin, doesn't it? And it's yeah. like you, you, you blink and it's like you've been yeah. a fan for 40 years. You know? I know. <laughs> I know. Did that all go? Where, where's, where's, it, where's it gone? Where's it gone? And then you look back, as I was saying earlier, when you're doing this, the, you know, the, your Hammers 11, you look back and you remember all those games that, you know, under the lights of Upton Park and away yeah. games, you know, Oldham and, and getting stuffed up at Oldham and stuff like that. Um you just wouldn't change it, would you? You no. wouldn't change it for the world. And, and um, you know, we're, we're a unique brand, us hammers, and, you know, uh, through th thick and thin. And, and you know, uh, it's. Uh, Mainly it's thin. An, it's, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, but not the moment. <laughs> not the, not moment, the moment. That's what I mean. This is like, it's it's different and it's a different team. And um, it's a bit like, I was, I was talking about someone about this the other day, and this sort of season is a bit like. Well, not this season, but the team 
very reminiscent of my of the early sort of i mean i i started to point them sort of i went started going the early 90s Mm. But that team, that team would never mm. give up. You know, I'm thinking yeah, like yeah, yeah. Mad Dog Gosh. and Bish and Monks yeah. a bit later on and, yeah. you know, yeah. Potsy and all these guys, you could yeah. not question their commitment. You know, and I think in recent times we have, you know, there's been players yeah. there, Haller, you know, people who, think, who yeah. haven't put it, put it on. But this team, yeah. I don't think you could say, do you know what? They're not putting it in. They all would. So, yeah. I think it's a lot of credit to Moyes, and a lot of credit to Moyes, and I think yes, also right. who who is brought in as well, because I think under under Pellegrini, we got a you know a lot of talented individuals who perhaps didn't fit into you know what it was all about, um, but yeah, it does seem to be back at the moment, doesn't it? And and yeah. you know um, it's good, it's good. But yeah, you're right. I mean, some of the names you mentioned there, they might be featuring later. You never know. Oh, but um, you know some uh, some some top players. Mm, they are and and uh and you're right i think this year i just think it's there's just some momentum about our team at the moment which i hope we continue because you know so often we've had a good season and then a rubbish three or four seasons i mean this is the best season since the last season of the bowling that's five years oh, ago, you know what i mean absolutely. so absolutely. Um, yeah and, and we, you know we've got to make sure i think we we keep hold of one or two players obviously yeah. um i'm not sure what the lingard situation is but we, you know if we could snap him up that would be good mm. recruitment is going to be important and you know fair play to Moyes again he's he's done the business so far hasn't he i mean yeah. there's a few eyebrows raised when when some came in mm. including yeah. you know my eyebrows were thinking oh, i thought craig dawson i thought what's going yeah. on but yeah. whew, what a player yeah he's, he's yeah. been immense hasn't he he is and we i mean we had this discussion um on one of our live shows the other day um someone said craig dawson you know when you 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 would you'd roll your eye belt balls back when we yeah. signed him um yeah. but he's turned out to be such an integral player and i think to be honest we've looked at i mean we've had other players before you know people like um you know people just come up with people like steve lomas when we signed steve lomas yeah. for like a million yeah. like yeah. what and he yeah. just became this sort of corner corner he, of, he was fantastic lomas. oh he's brilliant yeah. and yeah. i mean even 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 Sufal, you know really he was like yeah. when we signed him we were like five million what you know this is yeah like, i'd, I'd never million. heard of him yeah. i mean even we're like what's well, he doing you know, yeah, we throw him straight into the team at Leicester, and he hadn't trained, what or he didn't train for half an hour. No, yeah, it's yeah. it's it's great, and he's just got this. He's got a team of players who are just, you know, all hungry, and I just hope that continues. Mm. Into as you said, into the recruitment for the summer, in terms mm. of some of the names they're talking about, they do seem to be young, hungry, and I think that's that's the way to do it. That is the way to do it. Yeah. And it might mean we have to sell a few, you know, just because it's just well, the way it happens. Just the way it happens, you know, and. Um, but it's uh, it's of a course, project. you know, you, European football is gonna gonna help that, isn't it? If we can get into European football, can entice mm. those players in, um, it all it's all a knock on effect, isn't it? So yeah. we've got a big sort of thirteen games left coming up, I think, haven't yeah. we? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, lots lots of lots of lots of twists and turns, that's for yeah. sure. And I think also yeah. with someone like obviously you mentioned Lingard, and obviously Lingard and the way he bounces off Declan Rice they bounce off each other on social media and stuff like that yep. that's only going to make the club seem more attractive to Definitely. you know Definitely. younger English players as well yep. you know I'm thinking people yep. like Mason Mount is he yep. going to get much chance at Chelsea who knows you know so yep. you know I think actually Dex a really good like uh, marketing ploy for Barrios because he he's, he, he he's so like can just go in and talk to people and you know he's as long as he stays in. that's that's the most important stays, thing because yeah. I say if, if he goes we're in trouble but um we, yeah. Yeah. yeah and if he yeah. has a good Euros as well you know there's going to be other people you know sniffing around but yeah it's it's difficult isn't it because you want them to play well you want them to play well for their, their country you want them to play well to be you know for the club but obviously yeah. there's always that niggling thing in the back of your mind sort of you know yeah. glenn johnson's and michael carrick's yeah, yeah. and joe cole's yeah, yeah, and you know yeah. there is yeah, I mean, it, but i think it's a different mentality now i think um and i don't i mean i think some with deck i mean i could never see deck yeah you know, well at the moment like walking in and handing in a transfer request bosh you know that's not going to do that that's, no, how he's no, that's not, so no it's, it's not going to happen but you know there may come a time if we don't sort of push on both, yeah, you know, yeah. domestically and European, you know, he's going to think, um, is it time to move on? So, yeah, yeah it's, a, it's a big end of the season coming up. So. It's interesting. Yeah, let's, it's always interesting. Hope. It's always interesting with us, isn't it? It's always interesting. <laughs> right, let's let's talk about your, your 11 then, Lou. So, right. the idea is, as I said, you can pick anyone you want 
any criteria, but the only rule is you have to be alive to have seen them play. Because obviously, okay. I was around, you know, to see Bobby Moore, or I mean, I, yeah, I didn't yeah. see Billy play, I didn't see Bo- yeah, Brooklyn play, I saw him manage, but I didn't see him play. So they were mm. in my team. So, so otherwise, it's uh, some some variety. Otherwise, everyone would have the same bloody eleven. Well, I, I'm not sure how, <laughs> how original mine is actually, Russ, but you know, I'll give it a go. Um, right, goalkeeper. That's yeah, start between six. Start. Yeah. Now th- this this was tricky actually because when I when I first started supporting West Ham, of course, Phil Parks was in goal. Yeah. And uh, you know what a legend he was. Um, I'll tell you just a, a very very quick story if I can. Of course. Um, I used to sort of be part of the youth development at, at Wimbledon when I was fourteen. Uh, we used to train at Plough Lane, and then there was a, a training. Um, facility next to it and one of the perks was that you got to be a ball boy and uh because i was a big west ham fan i got the west ham game yeah. and um in those days now it's different now because now there's ball boys you know dotted all over the place um in those days there was just one ball boy behind the goal um and you know you didn't have balls um you, you know on tap that you have now so if the ball goes out now that you just pick another one up and get on with yeah. it um so I, I can remember this this one time when um phil parks was in goal and the the ball went behind and i was the ball boy and of course i was legging it all up and down the you know uh, behind the goal and it got caught behind one of the um uh, the advertising holdings uh i couldn't get it out and i was i was struggling i was only about 14 at the time i was try, trying to get it out couldn't couldn't get hold of it um and the ref then started laying into phil parks accusing him of time wasting phil parks then started laying into me because i didn't get the ball and on top of all that i've got five thousand west ham fans behind me <laughs> just giving it a go as well so that was my one of my first memories of of um of phil parks um what a what a keeper but mate i'm gonna have to go for ludo yeah um i'm, I'm gonna have to go for ludo because um you know what a keeper and um you know i, I can remember when um we went to to villa park um fa cup semi-final the, you know at the uh at the whole end when he came out and had a whole chance of ludo ludo that that will never be never be beaten so great keeper yeah um good guy as well so ludo and goal for me top guy right let's put ludo in uh let's go let's go left back who should have on the left back then Lewis? oh come on it's 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 got to be julian yeah it's got to be julian um jess and lisa will kill me for then of julian yeah. anyway so <laughs> but i mean what what a what a player um you know he, he you know commitment ability um absolutely everything um superb player absolutely superb player and um you know the first person you'd want on on your team sheet yeah um i, ju- I just want to say also russ that julian is one of the the first you, you'll know this one of the first people to help out when it comes to things like charity shout outs or things like yeah. that is he's, he's a top man on the pitch and off the pitch as well so uh julian for me left back yeah yeah totally agree totally agree lovely bloke lovely bloke yep. shit mis- shit myself on interviewed him but he's a lovely guy <laughs> you're safe behind a screen Russ. well you think you am you think you are but i you know it's like i i you know for him it's like he was like my idol and he's like i don't i've never i was talking to someone the other day about this actually um you know, you don't, don't get, don't necessarily get starstruck, but I did with him, and it was like, but then you're sort of like slightly worried because obviously, you know, he's his persona on the pitch, you know, and it's like I never really met him properly off the pitch, mm-hmm. and it was like, mm-hmm. but we sat there for like, you know, prior, to be honest, it was about about two hours by the time we'd finished, but um, yeah, no, he was yeah a, a complete gent, an absolute gentle, yeah, gentle he's giant, a top man, um, top man, yeah. and a great, great player. Great player. Yeah, fantastic player for us. All right, I'll put Julian on. So I'm making a note. Who's going to go right back then? Let's go the other side. Uh, right back. Uh, I'm going Timmy Breaker. The right. Um, great, um, great athlete. I, I always used to enjoy watching watching Timmy Breaker. And, mm. and uh, me and my brother always used to have a laugh about it because he used to, you know, peg it down the line, kick the ball over. His legs used to go flying up in the air. But, you know, what a what an athlete, what a player. Um, I used to, you know, really enjoy um, seeing him play. So um, there's others I could have put in, but now I'm going to go for I'm going to go for Tim Breaker because I think uh, it's all about your memories, isn't it? And, yeah, and you definitely. you think about those teams that that meant so much 
to you at that time and and um yeah so uh yeah. Tim, Tim Breaker for me I think I think Tim Breaker I think he's he's I think um obviously our current right back he he reminds me a lot of Tim Breaker because mm. in that um he is solid he's dependable yeah. he's yeah. consistent you, you don't usually see him get beaten yeah. um and because of that he, ne- he won't win hammer of the year which is really frustrating it, <laughs> Do you know exactly. I he's, he's my hammer of the year but i know he won't win it because he doesn't he's not well, the goal scorer you never, you never know but i, I know what you stuff. mean i, yeah, I know what you mean. mean he's solid he's dependable i mean same with breaker i mean he, yes he, he didn't score many goals and he was never going to set the world on fire but you always know that if there's a one-on-one chances are he, he'd snuff it out so totally. um no, yeah good player Good yeah, plan. top bloke, top guy as well. I love Tilton's mm. Tim, and he's been on. He's done. He's, he's done us with a couple of charity ones. He's helped us out with Has as he? well. So, oh, yeah. oh yeah, he's he's good fun. He's he's, he's a right giggle. He's like one of these things. Yeah. He's quite quiet. But he's got a really really dry sense of humour. And I think when mm-hmm. uh, when I interviewed him, it sort of came across a little bit. But then I did like we did like his game shows, and we had him, Mad Dog, and Steve Jones oh, yeah. <laughs> playing playing sort of wheel of fortune and he's sort of like he like you know then he then his sort of humor came out a little bit but i mean they used to call him the the machine that was his yeah, nickname yeah, the yeah. machine yeah, um yeah. i can see why yeah i can see why totally right we'll put timmy breaker in uh center half first center half then first was- center half this wasn't easy and and as you say i mean if, if you had if you had my dad on he'd go for bobby moore but i wasn't around yeah. at those times so first one i've gone for alvin yeah um, what a player, and and he ju- he just got better and better as well, didn't he? I mean, I can remember seeing him play well into his his thirties as well as you know his, his early um, uh, his early time as well. I mean, just just a class player, always had time, um, always composed, um, you know, got stuck in when needed to as, as as well. But you always felt with him at the back a little bit of reassurance, and yeah, um, yeah. yeah I, I used to. I used to love watching him play and, and uh, super defender, super defender. Yeah. And then yeah. seems like a really nice guy as well. Yeah. yeah and, he, and he's sort of one of those adopt, uh, adopted cockneys, isn't he really? You know, yeah. you know sort of came down from, from up, up there and, Boots, think, and just, yeah. And just, and just stays and just stayed here, you know, stayed, yeah. stayed around the area and stuff. And obviously, and, and I love that because he's obviously still, and obviously the whole thing with, with, with David and yeah, I yeah. mean, I mean, that was last season. That was last season. It's mental, isn't it? We, had a, yeah. we started with Pellegrini last season. It was like you know, it's crazy. Time, times this since COVID, time has just gone into this weird thing. And I forget, you know, it's almost yeah. like pre and post COVID. It's going to be like you know, that's what we're going to have. Um, that's how we'll say. I thought David was going to come on actually against City because um, too, yeah. Randy was was struggling a bit and he, he was warming up and so. Uh, but I remember that game against Chelsea when he he, he saved us, didn't he? he was great, great performance. Yeah. So um, just a great. It was just a great like that one of those moments that will be forever in the fabric of West Ham because yeah. of what it meant to to yeah, Alvin and to yeah. us as well. So um, I'll put Alvin in. Who's Alvin going to partner then? Well, no, again, probably not too original, but uh, I'm going Stevie Potts. Yeah, um, Stevie Potts. I I I thought he was great um obviously not the biggest but nope. read the game so well very very quick um and again you always knew that if it was a one-on-one he'd, he'd sort of he'd nick it um you know get alvin or or whoever you know potsy's partner was to you know pick up the big guys and yep. and you know potsy would collect the rest yeah um again we you know would never set the world on fire i think i don't know how many goals he scored he, was it he scored i know he scored against hull i think i think i was that there was it. that was it was that the only one yeah well there you go that, that's 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 deserving of getting in my hammers 11 exactly. but um and yeah i you know he could have played um you know he could have played in many teams yeah um definitely. because of his the way that he read the game um so yeah potsy for me yeah and he was one of those players i mean potsy was one of those players to me who um, if he was five inches taller, it'd be an England regular. Do you know? What yeah, I mean? if he was if he was five inches taller, though, he perhaps would have lost a little bit of that um, ability Possible. to to yeah. nip in. So um, you know, I think he maximised his ability, uh, you know, to to the full. But yeah, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Yeah. But yeah, he I could mean, he could have had a uh, you know decent career internationally as well. 
definitely, definitely. And very reliable, very dependable. Um, yeah. And, and obviously still involved in the club now, which yeah, is great. Absolutely. You know, we like, we love absolutely. to see that. Uh, right. Okay. There's your back four. Let's go into midfield. Let's go for left wing. Who's your on the left? Left wing. Ah, uh, my all-time favourite hammer, uh, Alan Dempsey. Yeah. Um, Devo. Devo. I mean, what a player. What, what a player. And, um, mm. you know, it's interesting. When I, when I used to play... Um, I, I used to be a really sort of skinny little kid, believe it or not. And um, Me so too. I can never, <laughs> I can never I, really I mix fucking it. laugh at me. You had to laugh at me. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm joking, um, I'm joking. And, um, and so I can never really mix it with the big boys, you know, in the yeah. centre midfield. So I used to model my game as much as I can on, on, on Devonshire. Um, because I think when he, he started, people were saying, forget it, mate, you're too small, yeah. you're too slight, you're not gonna, yeah. you're not gonna do it. Um, but, uh, genius, absolute genius. And, um, yeah, I mean, he, he would probably be, uh, yeah, he'd probably be my all time hammer. Um, really? Yeah. Just, um, you know, again, just for the, the, you know, commitments of the club and just his ability that, you know, his, his dribbling and some of the goals he scored, some of the, you know, the setup plays. Um, yeah. Magician. Yeah, Devo for me, mate. Definitely, it was, and and, and you know the, the the fact is, and I say it a few times when when um, Dev gets picked, you know, I mean, it, it takes a lot to because obviously he had such, such that horrific injury, and yeah. and and then to come back and and basically reinvent yourself as a new player, you know, yep. no one does that anymore now. You know, once I mean, look at Antonio. Well, you see, you, know, you see, Lanzini like, struggled with that, yeah, he? and you know true. he's come back, and he hasn't quite got it back, but yeah. Uh, when Devo came back, he, you know, he, he picked it up again and, and, you know, changed his game accordingly, but uh, brilliant football brain. Um, super player. Super player. Top, yeah. Top bloke. Right. Okay. Put Dev on the left. Let's go. Let's go with the right. Who's going to be on the right? The right wing. Uh, Mark Ward. Waldy. 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 I used to love watching Waldy pound up and down the wing. Uh, again, you know, great play. Not, not the biggest, of course, but got stuck in. Score some, you know, great goals, important goals. Um, and, you know, again, when I look back at that, that I don't know, that team or that that era, um, we had such a lot of good fighters there, you know, good players. And, and Waldy certainly was one of those. And, uh, yeah, I used to love watching him. So, Waldy for me. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, he's a top bloke, and I mean they all are. I mean everyone. We've had, we've had, yeah. we've, had we've done quite well. We've had, we've had uh, Dixie, we've had Breaker, we've had Dev, we've had Waldy, and you know every one of them is amazing, and they they speak so yeah. highly of the club and and the fans and stuff, and and they'll do. I mean Waldy's the same. He'll do anything for anyone. You know what I mean? In he terms will. of, he uh, he's yeah. a great, great bloke. Um, yeah. big fan of his. Um, and yeah, it was like uh, yeah. I mean, obviously, I wasn't around to see Waldy play, but I've watched a lot since, and he was almost like. Like a, he was like his little terrier, you know, little, uh, I, think that, I think, I think Mac called him a little terrier, you know, he, and that's yeah. exactly what he was just like nipped around. Yeah, and, say, he, he'd never yeah. stopped running and, and, you know, he'd always, you know, nick the ball. And then as soon as he got the ball, first thing he wanted to do straight up the line. Yeah. That's what um, wanted, and yeah, super player. I used to love watching him play. And Good that's man. what you want for, that's what you want for like a, a winger in it. Just, uh, phew. Yeah, that's just go yeah, down the it, wing, you know. It, you know, he had a little bit of the of the Bowen, you know, Jared Bowen. Yeah, yeah. Although, you know, perhaps Bowen's got a little way to go to to, you know, to get that level. But you know, um, as soon as Wardy got the ball, he was off. Um, yeah. And so the you know great outlet for us as well. And and you know he could ping the ball crossfield as well. Um, yeah, brilliant, top man, brilliant. Okay, Loki, let's go into central midfield. Who's your first central midfielder then? Well, I've I've got to choose Bonzo, mate. Um, yeah. I I was lucky enough to sort of get the the end of his career, and and um, but you know he he just epitomises everything that's that's West Ham, and you know I I don't think people perhaps gave him enough credit for for the player he was. You know, you see this buccaneering guy, you know, mm. six foot two eyes of blue, but you know he was a decent player as well, and um, but you know his 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 commitment and his strength and his fitness you know yeah. you hear all these stories that you know when he was um doing pre-season and you know he, he was at the age of what i don't know 36 37 38 he was yeah. still way out in front of everyone yeah um so yeah it, it, it's got to be bonzo for me um, I, I didn't 
I was about to say, I, I think, I think, interv- I can't remember where I interviewed, and even when he was a manager, he was still running back and picking up the stragglers yeah, yeah. on their big runs, yeah, yeah. and then still yeah. running to the front. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I <laughs> mean, just crazy. Mental. Just absolutely, absolutely, mental. absolutely crazy. I mean, I saw, I saw Sir Trevor play, I, I think, but I can't really remember it, so um, yeah. I, I can't in all fairness, pick him. But, you know, this that, this was the hardest one, actually, the centre midfield, because, mm. you know, I used to love watching Alan Dickens. Yeah. Um, I thought was, he was a fantastic player. Um, Bruno was always good to uh, good to watch, you know. Um, Stuart Robson, a uh, good player. Johnny Monks. Yeah. Johnny, in fact, Johnny Monks was um, initially in, so I hope he's not watching this, but um, what a, what a, terrific player he was um yeah. but sorry got to go for seniority and, and bonzo yeah that's good no, no no i agree i agree no i think it's yeah i mean yeah he was uh well just a colossal wasn't he colossus of a yeah. player and and a man and you know obviously finally recognized with the stand named after Absolutely. him and again nice for it to happen when He's still alive, you know what I mean? Because unfortunately, more often than not, we ha- all these dedication things, I know. Sort of it's, it's... if everyone happens after they've died, and it's like, well, it's a bit late, you, yeah. know, you know. And he was very emotional, wasn't he? I remember oh, that. Right, yeah, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah. Well, someone uh, who's, so, someone so. Who's, but as I say, someone who's not, he never showed emotion, you know, when he yeah. played or when he was a manager, not really. No. Um, to break down like that, you yeah, he almost yeah. broke down. Yeah, I mean, it was, yeah. it's, I mean, there was a lot of other blokes sobbing as well, but yeah, yeah. it was uh, it was it was a lovely thing. And that one, like, and that, again, one of those moments that were gonna it's gonna stay in the fabric of West Ham yeah. for many many yeah. years to come, and and that's what it's all about. It just shows how Absolutely. much the, the club meant to him. Um, yeah, definitely. And definitely. Yeah, top bloke, yeah. top top yeah. bloke. Super. Um, right, okay. Bonzo is in. Who's he gonna partner in that? Yeah, uh, it's got it's got to be Fish. It's got to be Bish. Um, what a player! Yeah. What a player! I mean, he, he he had everything. I mean, um, he even had good hair. Uh, he still got good hair, still which which hair. is annoying. Um, but you know what? Such a great player. I can remember. I think it was Wolves away. It may not have been. It could have been the one where Julian took on most of their defence. Um, but I think it was Wolves away. And I tell you, Bish just didn't give the ball away. That game just stands out for me. But, um, again, what a what a player. Um, yeah. You know, vision, uh, you know, certainly put his foot in as well. Um, commitment, good goals, um, just just class player. Should have played more for England. You know, there's all these... Um, all these stories, but you, you know, you never know. But nah. uh, he was certainly good enough. Uh, I have to say, he's another one uh, like Julian and like a lot of them. It, that's the first to to do shout outs to you know uh, totally. to help people. Top 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 bloke. Although totally. I think he enjoys it because he's living in the sun now in the states, isn't he? So he's, I think he does he's it just got, to show off. He does. He does. Yeah. I hope he's watching this. He will be. Um, he will be because yeah, it's, it's got his name in the title. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he'll probably retweet <laughs> it as well, just because he's in. Yeah, the, that's know. what I mean. There's, there's certain yeah. players who always retweet when they appear in the. Not right, just make names. sure you edit out what I said about his good hair. Yeah, just exactly. Get yeah, not mentioning yeah. any names, but there's certain players who, if you um, put their names on the thing, they really. Uh, Trevor Sinclair. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Who's, player, whose know. birthday is it is today so there we go um, but no uh yeah bish is uh, uh, a lovely bloke obviously as yeah, well yes. and and yeah i know what you mean he's he, he's he's if you ever want anything done as i said we um I, I around the ground at the moment around the stadium there's all these panini sticker type things um okay. and of like legends and there's and i took a few of us obviously people who i've sort of been you know i talked to uh, a few of the play and one of them was bish i took i took a picture of it sent it to bish uh, and said it's one's sinclair as well actually and they both came back with almost not identical messages but honestly the 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 pride they had by yeah. having someone by having a sticker sticker on them on the you know it was incredible yeah, and it's like yeah, yeah. You, it sort of I think now, I think now we've, I think we forget 
because they, they were from an era, a slightly older era, so to speak. And I think we forget now with football when it was like, you know, people are going, you know, 200 grand a week, 100, whatever it was. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you think that's what they care about. But actually, yeah. like the older pros particularly, and I think actually some of the younger ones as well, i.e. Mr. Rice and people like that. Yeah, no, about, Nobis is always good as well. Yeah, exactly. Nobis is the same. You know what I mean? It's like it's about it is about the club and stuff and you know and obviously yeah. bish would do anything for a yeah, west ham fan he would. Um, yeah, yeah. and same as a man city fan and you know that's why they that's why they yeah, still love him yeah. as well and you know, that's, so. that's why they're so popular that's why people like julian yeah. and bish are still so so respected because not only their ability but you know the type of people they are as well and yeah, um, yeah yeah really totally, good totally. guys yeah great guys right okay let's let's go up front let's go your first strike <sighs> This 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 was tough. In fact, I scribbled this out about thirty minutes before coming on because oh. I was gonna I was gonna have a kind of a false nine, sort of like the oh. Lingard role. Nice. Uh, and I was I was I was gonna have Stuart Slater in there. Nice. Um, but but and, and I know that, that Stuart's just joined. He's just joined Twitter. I think he's just gone back onto like, Twitter. Sorry, yeah. mate. Sorry, mate. Oh, Don't block me. Um, but. Thinking about it, I, I'm I'm going to have to go for Maka, um, yeah. early Maka Verne, I think. Um, just again, I think just the the whole, um, you know, the whole atmosphere around, you know, that, and you know, he did get interviewed on Wogan, didn't he? I mean, so exactly, yes, yeah. I, I mean, come on, the I first mean, the first West Ham player to have done that, probably, 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 probably the last as well. Yeah. But I mean, <laughs> when he first came. Um, you know, he he set the world on fire, didn't he, for us? And yeah. particularly with 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 TC and and great finishing. You know, he had that charisma. Um, he had that um, swagger about him as well, which always adds to the enjoyment of of watching yeah. someone. Uh, another guy who's who's such a top bloke at helping yes. out as well. I mean, I, to be honest, go through all of these people, and yeah. uh, and you know, they're they're all you know great great guys and they don't need to do it you know they, they no, no um they've got their own you know things they're doing now but um yeah never say never say no i totally agree no i think i mean maca as well i mean you know the other day one of um some one of the one of the lads who's a subscriber um he's his dad's in well, I, don't, I think he's out of yeah i think he's out of a coma now um due to covid and he messaged me he said that you could do literally i sent one text to him 10 minutes later he sends me a, a, a message a video message yeah. to forward to them and and yeah. it, it's all that era all that era they just you know it is it, it and, is amazing. and and i hope that you know this current lot that we've got um i know a lot of them do it you know deck does it nobs does it and, and a few mm. others but you know it, it, it's a dying breed isn't it and it is and it i is. think th these these older players you know they realize just how important the fans are and yeah. um and you know it's not just about the, the you know the, the wages or whatever it's it's bigger than that and mm. it's a family in many ways and um yeah. and yeah i've got so much respect for for these uh these former players that still do so much because they could quite easily turn around and say oh, yeah. that, you know I'm sorry, done now, sorry yeah. guys i'm busy yeah yeah, yeah. and um, i think i think with someone like i think with these players as well i think and actually i think maybe maybe in this in this weird you know post pandemic world um i think there's a i think there's from a, a footballing perspective i think there's you know it's like the other day i mean the club put on a thing uh, uh you know of, of the last game february the 28th last year the southampton yeah. game and when antonio scored there was a crowd that wasn't the computer generated crowd yeah. and it sounded so strange but sounded so amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. and i think like now, I think, you know, I mean, it's great potentially that we could have, you know, 10,000 back for the Southampton game potentially. I think so, yeah. yeah. Um, that would be amazing because I think we would definitely, the crowd now, the way the team are playing, we'd give them that extra 10, 15%. Um, yeah. And I think it is an appreciation now of the fans uh, and mm -hmm. what they do mean. And, you know, I mean, you look at guys like, you know, Sheffield United. I mean, there's no, there's no um, doubt that, that they had a 12th man. Because like oh, they were yeah, yeah, they were yeah. flying last season. Yeah, as soon yeah, as yeah. lockdown came in, yeah. they fall like a stone. They just yeah, scraped yeah. through last season. They're going to yeah. probably go down this season. You know, Looks West like Brom, it. West Brom, small grounds, um, Fulham, small grounds. You know, yeah. all these yeah. smaller teams, not smaller teams, but smaller grounds. 
Um, I mean, you know, I feel sorry for like, you know, a West Brom fan. They, the last time they saw them was in the championship. And potentially if, you know, if they don't yeah. have that last game, the last game will be in the championship. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, and I think with, yeah, actually, I, think if, I think with our crop of players as well, I think with like ones now, I think deck, I think that's why we, we all love deck. Cause he's a, he, he's a bit of a throwback to that old era. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he's yeah. he seems to be he's generous with his time. He appreciates the fans. He's got that sort of enthusiasm. It has. He's not yeah. like a. He's not like a, a typical footballer. If that makes sense. No disrespect yeah, to yeah. him, but he's no. he's not bland. You know, I think now no, football's no. really bland. Yeah, um, he's got a good head on his shoulders, and yeah. you know, he, he's got some you know uh, good morals, and uh, and yeah, it's it's really encouraging to see because you know you do yeah. see other players that are you know very very good and and yes, very very cool. well thin and you yeah. just think well oh, you know but, but i mean he's like, he's yeah it's, it's like when you look now you look at the players you've picked like people like wardy and bish and yeah. mcaveney and dixie they're the same you know all of them you would turn up to a pub and have a drink with them and yep. They're relatable, and I think now yeah. football—they're so seen as these sort of uber, uber-like athletes. I mean, yeah. they are—they're athletes now. They're finely tuned athletes. But yeah. you wouldn't—I mean, even like we said, we mentioned like people like Sinclair and and like that era. That was probably the last era where they were sort of had a personality, you know, so, you mm. know, razors and boxes yeah. and people like that. You know, we'd laugh. You'd laugh. I, I, saw, I saw your interview with Razor. That was close. oh, I love Razor. I love him. Mm. He's such a lovely bloke. He's just so funny. Um, but I mean that that. That's. I don't think you know. It's it's not a surprise that you know we all yeah. sort of have a warm affection to these people because they were a person. We, they were relatable, and yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's why I like doing this show because like we go back and give these people a chance. Not not give, we give them like you know we talk, but you know it's a great chance to talk about Bish again, and it's a great yeah. chance about Waldy and McAveney, and who's your last striker? <laughs> we'll talk about them as well now. Who's the last? Well. Um... Uh, again, it wasn't easy. I mean, if I was to go technically, I'd, I'd probably go to Canio. But again, summing up sort of memories and experiences, I'm going Trevor Morley. Yeah. Um, again, great, great guy. In fact, Bish kindly put me in touch with Trevor a couple of years ago, and we had a nice chat about the great work he's doing in Norway. He's, he's um, helping a lot of uh, addicts in Norway, and, and yeah. re really, really nice guy. But on the football pitch, again, put in a shift, um, scored loads of goals for us, um, important goals. Yeah. Um, you know, he may be the first to admit he perhaps wasn't the most technically gifted, but saying that, I mean, he he, um, he put some great goals away uh, for us. And, you know, when I think about that time and I think about my all-time 11, I've got, to have, I've got to have Trevor in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I know what you mean. Yeah, and a top bloke, top bloke. Honestly, absolutely. Yeah, yeah it's yeah. incredible. And it's just like how 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 warm and and friendly these people are. And obviously, I mean, you know, we've we've spoken. You know, Tri Morley was just like Trevor's amazing, and you know, we had a great chat. And uh, if, if he's back. watching, if he's watching this. Trevor, turn your WhatsApp on because I WhatsApped you about don't WhatsApp, four weeks no. ago. Yeah, don't bother me. Didn't, didn't go through. So. No, no. Still, well, I mean, my WhatsApp still hasn't gone through. That's why I went. That's why I went, did just did the thing instead. Um, but I mean, yeah, I mean, Trevor. Oh, he's just brilliant. I love him. I love him um, so much so that he said, "Oh, I'll oh, we'll go for a beer when you when I come back." I mean, fucking all right, all right, Trevor. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah nice one. Yeah, exactly. We're going for a beer. Me and Trevor Morley. Oh God, the, uh, that's, that's my the, team. That that's your team. Good. That's your team. Lulo in goal. We've got Dixie, Potsy, Mar Alvin, and uh, and Tim. And then we've got uh, Devo, Bish, Bosch, Bish, Bosch, no, Bish and Bonds, uh, <laughs> Waldy, and uh, the two M's up front, McAvinney and, and Morley. Do a what job, a man. Team. What, a, a, what job. a team. And if I had a manager, it'd be Johnny Lyle. Yeah. Yeah, great right. shout. Yeah, no, it's uh, yeah, it's uh, it, in their pomp that would do a job, and it would be very similar to this this batch of players. In you know, you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't fault their commitment every game, would you? They'd all sure. put hundred percent. Leave they, out. They'd, the they'd all put hundred percent in, and and not sure if we'd end up with eleven players on the pitch after. You know, probably after not with VAR. Goodness. Probably not. No, no. no. Uh, <laughs> we, we'd have a few red cards, but um, you know, we'd have a good go at the beginning. But what we'd have a good go and. You know, the the nights out afterwards would be good. Win or lose, yeah, they'll well, all be well, on with, the booze. With, with Maka, Bish, Julian, Waldy, well, yeah. yeah, it'd be a quiet one. 
yeah exactly uh, i think right. yeah i think i think it was uh i think it was actually when i interviewed trev he taught he spoke about ludo and when he first came to the club um they had the christmas party and it was fancy dress and ludo didn't have a clue what was going on you know he's like <laughs> didn't have a clue and so i think it was him i've got a feeling it was morley and bish it could have been Macca as well. Someone that, that, that they they went to go, and it was like the only shop in Chadwick that that ran Chadwell and the training ground, which sold fancy dress costumes. And all they had was like a, a medium sailor's outfit. And obviously Ludo is <laughs> six foot, you know, wherever he is, and so yeah, he's yeah. stuck in this thing. And I think Macca, I think Macca went and got a couple of limos, and and Ludo's so like, I've got, to go to, I've got to go to my wife's. Or I've got to go home to tell my wife I'm not coming home tonight. All I'm right. going out, and then they all turn up, and like he's. <laughs> <laughs> he's in this right. outfit, and his <laughs> wife is like, like I don't what know, is going on? Else. yeah. But what I mean, that's that's on? all these stories, isn't it? I love it. It's lovely, yeah. it's, uh, but no, it's all good, man. Um, it's been lovely, Louis, to chat to you. It's been really, really okay. good. It's been fantastic. The time has literally flown by, um, which is always a great sign. But uh, <laughs> thank you so good, much. Good, good forty-five minutes, uh, Russ. A good and a shout out to you as well, mate. Because I think what you do is fantastic, and keep thank it up. You. It's 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 really good. Thank you. I love doing it. I love doing it. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it if I didn't love it. So thank you so much. Um, uh, and thank you to everyone for watching or listening. Um, whatever you do, give it a like, give it a share. And for myself and from Lewis, take care, everyone. Stay safe. Wash those hands. Get those jabs. Have you had your jab yet, Lou? Not yet. Not old enough, Not mate. Or fat enough. <laughs> I've had mine. <laughs> <laughs> exactly oh dear uh, so i mean you can't see under the camera's great because you can just i mean i look all right like here but underneath yeah oh, dear, oh, I, I, i've got hat. my shorts on i've got my oh, shorts yeah, on no, no. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not wearing anything but anyway yeah, well, news anyway, from, exactly from myself <laughs> and from, sorry don't get demonetized from myself and from lewis take care everyone. stay safe and uh, wash those hands come on you irons and we'll come see you, you again very very soon take care everyone. much love bye-bye cheers